Welcome everyone to uh, this tutorial on uh, our Android Quick Start project. I'm Frank, uh, WebPass CTO, and I'm going to guide you through uh, this tutorial. So to get started, go head to our website, click the Get Started button. Uh, you'll end up on our sign-up page where you need to enter your uh, email, uh, first name, last name, company or institution. Make sure you also accept and agree to the terms of service. Once this is done, head to your uh, mailbox. Uh, you'll see that you will get an email from us, which includes uh, the key to activate P2P Kit within your app. Uh, this key is a test key, uh, an evaluation key, valid for 90 days. Uh, so now let's just copy this key as we'll need it uh, next in the QuickStart product. Uh, you'll see in the email that you have two links, one to the to our GitHub repo and over to our FAQ. So let's go to our uh, repo. Uh, our uh, GitHub repo hosts uh, two products, the P2P Kit Quick Start for iOS and the P2P Kit Quick Start for Android. So let's check out the uh, Quick Start and Android project. Uh, you'll see there that you have a step-by-step -step instructions on how to integrate P2P Kit within your app. Uh, so we won't go into the details. Instead, uh, we'll assume that you import it or clone uh, the quick start from, uh, from GitHub. Uh, the main profile is the main activity uh, class and the boot.gradle file. So the main activity uh, file, you'll see there that you need to replace this by your key. So let's just paste the key you got from, your, from us in your mailbox. And before we go through the code, let's uh, launch the app. Uh, so we actually are going to show you now a demo with two apps, uh, with two phones. Uh, but we're going to actually now show only one to see what happens first. So our uh, Quick Start project basically allows you to choose a color. And upon discovery, you will share this color uh, with peers around. So let's take a color. And the first thing you will get, and also your users, is this pop-up message indicating that uh, the P2P kit services are not installed. Uh, so in order to do so, just click on install, or go to Play Store, install, and accept, and then it will install. So let me give you a bit more explanation about just what happened. Actually, your app does not embed the whole P2P kit library, but only an API lib we call kit client. Uh, our Kit functionalities are provided by the P2P Kit services, um, a service similar in its working to the Google Play services that uh, you download from the Play Store as we saw uh, in the video just before. Uh, this has many advantages, one of which is that you won't need to update your app when we release a new version of the kit and your users will benefit from any improvement or update we make to the P2P Kit services. Let's start again with the two phones. Uh, you'll see on the right one that actually is uh, offline. Only Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is on. And now let's pick a color on one of the phone. Let's do the same on the other side. And you'll see that after a few seconds, we'll get the discovery events with the color. Here we go uh, on the left, should appear soon. Here it is, and same happens on the right. So now let's update the color. So let's change the color on the left, and you'll see that it actually pops up already now on the right side. So let's also change the color on the right side, and you'll see on the left side now it's already updated. So now let's go uh, in the different steps uh, you should go through to integrate P2P Kit. Uh, basically, the first part is to initialize the P2P Kit services. And the most important part is basically uh, the part on the listeners of discovery events, P2P Kit discovery events. So let's go in presentation mode. So the first part, uh, you need to initialize P2P Kit. So for this, you need need to check if it's available, basically installed. If yes, uh, we can get an instance to it and register the callbacks uh, that, you will, that will be sent by the P2P kit. 
uh, you will see that after what, what these callbacks are, are. If everything goes fine, if your if P2P kit is installed, then you just need to connect to it with your app key. And the part which is highlighted now is the part which basically pops up the dialog message we just saw before. So the second part of the initialization is to uh, handle the connection state with callbacks of the P2P kit services. Uh, there's three different status you can receive, on connected, on connection, connection suspended, on connection failed. Uh, the most important one is when you're connected to the P2P kit services. And in this case, we basically send or set uh, the discovery info with the color you picked and we start uh, the P2P kit or the P2P discovery. Uh, the P2P kit discovery, uh, what it does is basically uh, sets the color again and uh, registers the basically the callback or the listener of uh, discovery events. That's what we're going to see now. So the listeners uh, of discovery events, there's basically three, uh, four different states on state change, on peer discovered, the most important one, uh, on peer lost, when a peer is lost, and uh, on peer updated discovery info, uh, when the discovery info is updated, in our case, when the car is updated. So on peer discovered is basically, uh, when this is called, we fetch the color that is sent along the discovery, and we display it, as you've seen in the demo previously. And we up, when we update the color, we also fetch uh, this new uh, discovery info. And we also display it, as you've seen just before. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to sign up. And in case you missed it, here's the link to our uh, GitHub repo. Also follow us on Twitter uh, at p2pkit.io. And get the latest news on our blog. Happy coding!